Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, what is Magic the Gathering? What is Wizards of the Coast doing? Well, that's a question we've all been asking for quite a while now. I don't understand. The question understand. is, what they do today? Um, <laughs> like, is, the, is the better question. So we got a couple of stories here talking about current year Wizards of the Coast. The first one is that they are collaborating with Marvel. And uh, this is after they collaborated with Lord of the Rings and they collaborated with Fallout and they had Transformers cards. Like what even is Magic the Gathering anymore? I don't know. And the weird thing about this is they're competing with uh, Ravensburger, which has Lorcana, which is basically a magic knockoff mm -hmm. and it's Disney. So why why are they handling this Disney IP with the magic? Is, is what I don't I know. know. Probably because they're going to go with a different angle because the, the Lorcana is more like, you know, the the, car, the cartoony, the animated stuff more yeah. so far. But it's just weird. So we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to talk about uh, an upcoming D&D &D supplement that features the first autistic, openly autistic D&D uh, &D character. Okay. So uh, and it's right in, like I thought like this person could be interpreted as being autistic because we're talking about fantasy world, right? Like I didn't think we had like real world medical diagnoses. No, no, you, no, you have to because, but the next thing is to me, it was you're opening yourself up to a lot of crap because yes. the thing with autism and the thing with spectrum disorders is it's very wide and encompassing, okay? There's lots of different, you know, levels, types, you know, you, you have like high functioning, you have nonverbal, all different kinds of things within that spect spectrum for a reason, okay? And I'm like, so if you if you have her portrayed as one way, is it gonna be enough for somebody else? Like, that's not how I am. That's it, not, I know, but you know uh, what I'm that saying? That is exactly it's, it's, it's what's too much, happen. it's not enough. It's like when Critical Role did the thing with the South, was it Southeast Asian stuff? And then that one Something woman, like and that, that yeah. one person was mad because it wasn't the, their ex exact identity. Yes. And they were pissed about it, you remember? Yes. Yeah, and they, it's kind of like that. It was cultural, quote unquote, cultural appropriation. So here's the thing, when you pander to a certain kind of audience and, and Wizards has been pandering heavily to the Tumblr crowd, the Twitter crowd, uh, you know, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna get all kinds of pushback regardless of what, what you do. I mean, you're gonna get pushback complaints. Everything's racist. Everything's wrong. Everything's bigoted. This has to be exactly like me because that's the way it is. It's not good enough. They're going to complain. They'll be like, well, she's white. That's a problem. Right. Yes. Or, you know, it's a she and not a he. That's a problem. You right. Know? Or right. Like, they're going to find other things they're going to be mad about. And even a descriptor doesn't even sound like group isolated and independent, resenting the unending pressure placed on her to become someone other than herself. Well, I think a lot of people could relate to that that aren't even autistic. But it's a big it's a big problem because, like I said, it's a big it's called the spectrum for a reason. And. I think that you're just, it's just going to be like, well, you're not oh, enough. Or you're too just much. Or get some enough, popcorn. But yes, get exactly. Some popcorn. This is just going to not go the way I think it's going to go. I mean, yeah. I do think it's cool. And the way that they're, you know, adding this, cause you don't have to play it if you don't want to, you could have just made your own character like that if you wanted to before. I don't know why we have to make a big deal about it, but I just think it's just not going to go the way they think it's going to go. It's going to go exactly the way you think it's going to go. And I think it's exactly the way I think it's going to go. I am going to sit back and laugh and laugh and laugh because wizards keep stepping on that rake again. Because you could, because since it's so, it's so, everybody's different. If you want to make a character that was like you and you happen to be on the spectrum, you could easily customize your character to be representative of you. Yeah. Um, because it's, I don't, it's not like it's a very, you can't very much stereotype it. Like, it's not like that. It's too broad. I, I don't know how this is going to go. So let's talk about this. We can speculate. We can speculate. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get a woohoo. Woohoo. Woohoo if you do. Um, so, yeah, we've been covering Wizards of the Coast because it is a division of Hasbro now. They keep making really stupid decisions again and again I mean, and again. I get what they're trying to do because they're going for the Twitter crowd. There's definitely a certain type on Twitter, which happened this other day, actually. Oh, God. There's definitely a certain type that they're going for. And I get what they're doing. Uh, I don't I don't think it's wrong to make a character with autism. I think that it's just going to go not the way they think it's going to go. So, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the autistic uh, Dungeons & Dragons character first, then. This is uh, this come from Bounding in the Comics, and they got it from, let's see, Newbie DM. Um, so this is the sheet. This is from This is from The Book of Many Things. Okay. Uh, 
So they're like, here, you can introduce even more magical whimsy in your game when they release on November 14th, okay? Blah, 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 blah. The Book of Many Things doesn't contain things that are going to be insulting to some people. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so here we go. You'll find an alternative cover of The Book of Many Things, uh, which features the first brand new POV character to appear in d d in nearly 10 years. Asteria, the first prominently featured autistic hero in the game's nearly 50-year history. Her father had grand plans for her future, but Asteria defied all his expectations and refused to fit into the mold he tried to place her in. Asteria grew up isolated and independent, resenting the unending pressure placed on her to be someone other than herself. But that, that sounds like it could be a lot of different types of people. <laughs> I guess a lot of you can relate to the character, autistic or otherwise. Go Does ahead. she kick ass? Oh, that's, yeah, all. That's, that's all you want to know. Um, so, yeah, look, like, look, uh, that's... It's fine. I'm just telling you, Wizards, this is not going to go the way you think it's going to go. Every time you try to show how progressive you are, it blows up in your face. I'm sorry. The Always. Next, the next paragraph. Dungeon Masters will now have all the ingredients they need to build perfect chaos into their campaigns with a deck of many things as they help craft dramatic experiences, enjoy startling twists, and delight in unexpected moments of brilliance. So when I was a kid, D&D &D was about, you know, killing orcs and getting treasure. And well, uh, now it's about unexpected moments of brilliance. Moments of brilliance. And, uh, you know, because now, now all the uh, all the classes in 5e, it's amazing, you know, what you can be. You can be, you know, a druid. You can be a shapeshifter. You can be like a warrior monk. You can be a barista mm -hmm. and throw hot a coffee. A barista troll. Barista troll. Oh, my God. That'd be hilarious with a bun, with a man bun. Mm -hmm. Throw hot but, coffee. But you don't. You're 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 non-binary. Non-binary barista troll with throwing, a man bun. With a man bun, throwing hot coffee on uh, all the bigots. There you go. All the bigots that make you. And then mad. when you're done with that, you can go back over to the wizard school and go to prom. <laughs> you go to prom. Like, look, play it however the hell you want to play. I don't care. I'm just saying this is not the same game, and they keep. You know, beating the drum on Stranger Things, and everybody's like, "Oh yeah, D and D." It's, oh, you it's would not like, have liked is, the original D and D. You would not you have all liked. Been pissed the about it. You would have been pissed about it. They're all like, said that this narrative too that their girls were never allowed to play, which also wasn't true. Ah. So there we go, guys. Um, this is not going to go well, of course, because again, everything they do winds up being a problem. They dropped uh, race and half species, and people were angry about that. Uh, and they were trying to do it to be progressive and they keep making changes to the games to try to be progressive. And then they just piss people off oh, worse. Wait, there was a, they drop and use some mechanics as race and half species in the game, but then they turn around and race bend all the characters for Lord of the Rings. Yeah. I mean, how does that even make sense? <laughs> so yeah, let's talk about magic. Cause magic right now is like, it's just freaking, I don't even know what this is. It reminds me of like Oreos. Like, remember when we just had, like, plain old Oreos? Yeah. And now everything is, like, Oreo is cross-promoting with everything. you got Oreo-flavored this and Oreo-flavored that. The Mario Oreos. Mario Oreos. But you've got, like... I all, do love Oreos, though, though. All these different snacks that are, like, oh, they're, like, Oreo potato chips. And here's some Oreo-flavored Spam. I ever don't like the knockoffs a lot of stores. The Oreo-adjacent snacks, they're not usually very good. <laughs> I was thinking they're, like... Uh, they're called uh ohs. Uh ohs. Uh -ohs. <laughs> We're uh, close to getting sued, but not quite. They're uh ohs. They're Hydrox. I don't know. I just, I like Oreos. And most store brands don't come close. Anyway, I like Hydrox cookies. You know, do they still yeah, make okay. those? I think so. They taste a little bit different. I like the taste of Oreos. For me, I'm, I'm a very Ore Oreo purist. So we watched the. Uh, o R E O. The the food that built America. And they were talking about the Oreo Hydrox. Well, Oreo stole it. They so did. They, they were totally the, they were ripped the them thieves. off. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Um, are among thieves. Oh, sorry. So yeah, I turned it back to D and D. Go ahead. There you go. So let's talk about magic, the gathering. So magic is in trouble. Uh, they're getting it on many levels. Uh, they've had, you know, stores that have carried magic since the beginning, dropping it. Um, Bank of America came out and said they're overproducing the cards. They're diluting right. the brand. And landfills. Uh, landfills full of magic cards. Now people are saying, well, they were just overproduced and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, whatever. But then we had the Pinkertons going to that guy's house because he got some cards early and all this other nonsense. That just It's just wizard's nonsense. And I'm sorry that Cynthia Williams needs gone. She's gone. And mm -hmm. Hasbro needs an attitude adjustment. So it was so sad. We're watching 
um, a show documentary on Transformers and the Hasenfeld brothers when they were actually in charge of Hasbro. And it felt like a toy company. And these guys were like almost like Willy Wonka type characters yeah. running this toy company. And now it's just like this soulless corporate That's how thing. everything is. That's the problem. It's how all of our, our, our media and our, our, you know, the toys and the games and stuff kind of are. And it's just about it's designed by committee. Yeah. And it has to hit all these checkboxes. And it's like just based on something that's already out there, IP or something else. That it's, it's not even like really creative anymore. No. So anyway, they announced that they're doing Marvel. This is, again, it's weird given that Lorcana is their direct competitor. They well, could have just gone. the thing was weird anyways because Ravensburger didn't even do tabletop like this. Like they weren't doing card games. Like yeah, they card were games doing, they were doing tabletop. They were doing, they weren't doing the card board games. games and yeah. Right. The card games and they weren't doing and they just then there's a lawsuit around this and everything else on what happened to it. But you know, they suddenly developed this this game. There's a lot of um the lawsuits involving the person they had as their designer worked for some was working for Upper Deck, doing a, another game that's almost identical according to Upper Deck, that they then they ran to Ravensburger and then went with this Disney thing. So there's a whole lawsuit around that. I don't know what happened to it though, but I'm like, it wasn't normal for them to do a card game. Like magic, it's normal, but like it would, it's weird. They went to Ravensburger for Lacana. <laughs> so people aren't having it. So this is coming from, let's see, here's the announcement. This is hipsters of the coast. That's their, that's their target demographic, mm, right? Yeah. That sounds right. right. Uh, the man so. bun trolls. And the man bun trolls, right? Uh, Dice Breaker may have broken their embargo about potential upcoming Marvel Universe release set. That was a while ago. Now they released the official statement. Oh, did and they put the statement out? Because when I saw this a couple of days ago, they said it was rumored, but they hadn't had a statement out. Yeah. So they said uh, Hasbro, a global branded play leader. What the fuck does that mean? Today announced an expansion of its longstanding relationship with Marvel. Together, Hasbro and Marvel will develop collectible products and tentpole sets for the best-selling trading card game Magic the Gathering. The first tentpole Magic set is based on Marvel's fan-favorite characters and epic stories, and it will appear globally in 2025. The card set? So they're going to base it on the stuff now no one wants. So you're waiting until Marvel's already on the downswing. The Marvels. And Marvel's failing miserably. And now you're going to do this but for cards that are going to come out in two years, and it'll probably be characters now that they're going to fail. Yeah, because it said that there will be additional all-new exciting sets for multi-generational fans. So basically, they're going to push the, the MCU versions, probably the characters, the Marvels, Carol Danvers, Ms. Marvel, all the Disney Plus crap. And then it's like, oh, yeah, because we want old heads money, too. We'll do some, like, retro 1980s cards. So too. Magic's not doing that hot either. So it's just like, this is like the blind leading the blind, the fail leading the fail. You know what I mean? It doesn't make... And in two years, it'll come out. Well, this is a statement from Cynthia Williams, who I think needs to be terminated immediately. I think she is making a lot of really bad decisions. Oh, yeah, we forgot to mention the OGL debacle, too. That was a whole thing. Hasbro will continue to bring new ways for consumers to express their Marvel fandom through Magic the Gathering's collection of universes beyond crossover products. We're extremely proud to collaborate with Marvel to bring its iconic characters to fans around the world in new ways, said Cynthia Williams. Note this, president of Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro Digital Gaming. These temple sets will build on the tradition of incorporating beloved fan favorite characters and elements from world class brands into Magic the Gathering. That just dilutes Magic the Gathering. It does. It's like Magic was its like, own thing for years. They've had how many different IP crossovers now? And it's like it's people just the are last tired year. of it. It's just like, God, just stop. Just make a new game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get that it's, it's Magic or whatever, but like, couldn't you, like TSR back in the day, they had, I still love the Marvel superheroes TSR game, but it was not based on Dungeons and Dragons. It was its own game system with its own modules. Well, that's what and Lacana, Lacana is. It's its own thing. Yeah. But it's not Marvel. And it was still the same company and it felt like a TSR product, but it wasn't, it wasn't like, oh, now we're going to bring Spider-Man into Dungeons and Dragons because that makes sense. What is it? Like everything is like ready player one now. We're just going to take all this pop culture crap and put it in a fucking blender, mm -hmm. put it on puree, and then just like dole it out, guys. Here you go. 50 bucks here, 100 bucks there. Boom, boom. You're all going to buy it because you're just a bunch of pay pigs. How do people think this sucks? I don't understand. It does how do people, suck. How do people think it's good? I don't understand. I can't with this game anymore. I hate this so fucking much. What, what do they mean by tent pull sets? It sucks so hard. Any news on format legality? This sucks. Hard pass. Oh my God. I called it. The Ready Player Oneification continues. Dude, dude, you get me. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's just like all this stuff thrown into a blender. 
dude, I fucking hate it here. How the fuck are we going to be able to play Marvel block construction when they kill the blocks? God, this is exhausting. I'm done buying products for a good while. And again, we have long time game stores, shops passing on magic. They're like, you've killed it. You've killed the brand. Mm-hmm. You've killed the resale well, value. Gonna, but Marvel, Disney's killed Marvel too. So, you know, it so works. So they can fail together. They already so, are failing. So they're just going to do, you know, maybe if they figure if they're, they both fail, they're both failing. If they go together, they're going to win. No, you're just going to fail twice as hard. Yeah. It's like, I mean, you're talking 2025. That's two years from now. In two years time, the MCU is going to be dead, dead. And who knows? The way things are going with Disney, maybe the comic book publisher will be dead, dead too. Or they'll just outsource well, someone in the, the comments down below said this is going to be like the new, the new version of comic books. They're just going to put this stuff out as cards. Yeah. Disney acquires Hasbro on a $6 billion deal. All magic IP is taken out by Marvel and becomes new source material for future phases of the MCU. And then, then Dungeons and Dragons and Marvel and Star Wars and all your nerd shit is owned by the corporation in Ready Player One. You know, and they own all your nerd shit, and it's all owned by the same... Cynthia Williams is doing her digital gaming, trying to figure out how to get more ads on the screen without sending you into a seizure. <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> then they're going to they're gonna work with uh, with Elon Musk, and they'll just put a chip in your head. You know, you can't, you can't block that. There's no ad blockers in your brain. Uh, yeah, like, th- this is wrong. This is not right. This is not, like, this doesn't feel right. And again, this is the problem when you've got a handful of corporations owning everything. And it's it's the ghost of, of games past. It's the ghost of comics past. It's not the same thing you grew up with. It might have the uh, veneer of it, but the version of Magic right now is not the same Magic that was played in the 90s. The version of D&D definitely is not the D&D from the 80s or the 90s. Uh, and all Marvel's not the same. It's just all, they, they've got the rights to it, but they're just making subpar versions of, of this shit that has seen I just, better. I just, I'm just, I'm not surprised. It just, I think it's dumb, but I'm not surprised uh, about any of the things we talked about in this video. It's not surprised at all. I don't think any of it's going to go the way I think it's going to go. No. But nope. I'm not surprised by any of it. Nope. So we're going to wrap it up. Yes. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.